This is my reaction to Hero No Sora episode 17. Let's get it. Just take it, don't wait for someone to break it. Take control, then don't just take it. Hey, you can make it happen. You just gotta take some action. Take the ship and be the captain. Versus. What you got, Yasu Senpai? Oh! He read the. He read it. He read it. Oh, he passed above him. Oh, that's foul. Okay, so Kite corrected him on it. Okay. Okay. Some of the pain I did. Chiaki got some of his sleeve. <laughs> That's right. Doesn't matter how fast you are if you can't keep it at a pace and play the whole game. If you're spent in the first quarter, it doesn't matter. Wow. So that's what he was working on during the training camp. Okay, sir, I see you. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, not on sword. Oh, come here, come here, come here. What, what you got? What you got? It's Sora. <laughs> Rebound for what? Man, that's Sora. That coach is conniving too though, so he we know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Oh wow! Wow. You gotta pass it. He, he took a step! He took a step! Traveling! <laughs> he took a step! He took a step! <laughs> Chiaki was on it! He, he took a step! Yeah, because if he's not, he's gonna get left behind. 
Ah, come on, Yasu. Maybe it's because she got the hots for me. <laughs> That's all he that's, honestly, that's all he has for him on defense right now. Oh. Not if Kite got anything to say. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! He saw it. He saw it. <laughs> Oh, he practiced with his mom and it's that. Oh, honestly, oh, I, I need more of that. Sora is on a move this game, man. He's everywhere. I think you about tapped out, though. Oh, my bad. I was wrong. So the, oh, that's right. They are late starting team. They don't start till kind of late in the game. And he's not joking or cutting up anymore. He's super serious. That's what the other team coach was waiting on. That moment. He got a nice shot too though. Yeah, he's tapped out. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I know you're nervous, but still, this is crazy. Whoa, oh my gosh, dude, okay, Chucky, he didn't even have a chance to, <laughs> he didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> okay, Chucky, he couldn't even react fast enough to understand what was happening. Come on, Chucky. We know you're not as good as Sora, but just don't make it easy for him to score. Right? Didn't I tell you? Just watch the game and just rest for a few moments. You just couldn't keep going steady.
This. <sighs> I'm not even mad about the foul. That's what I'm saying. It's his fourth foul. And Yasu's good enough to where we need him in the game. We can't have him fouling out. Right! I'm with Chiaki! Right? Wow, that's true. That's true. Ain't <laughs> that right now, Chun? <laughs> oh, he feels bad for taking Sora's spot. He feels like he's not up to the level of Sora. You're not, but you can do your part. That's what I'm talking about, Chucky! What you got, Kite? What you got? That's what I said. Kite's gonna take over. Kite's gonna take over, definitely. Uh, get out of there. Get out of there. Nothing but the net. Nothing but the net. Is he gonna make it? What the oh, fuck? Come on, it's Kite! I'm the top scorer! I'm the top scorer! <laughs> I'm the top scorer! What you got, Chucky? He's gonna bet it all on the line. Wait, Nabe's gonna come help. Nabe's gonna come help. Nabe's coming to help. I knew it! I knew it! Did I, did I knew it! I knew it! No, no, don't end. Don't end. Please don't end. I was going in. No, 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 no. Man, dude, honestly, this practice game is so much fun, and we're we're developing so many different techniques and um for the for the players that aren't as skilled as Momoharu, Chiaki, Kite, and Sora, which are the three novice, which is Nabe, Chucky, and uh, Yasuharu, but they make up for it. And, and the tenacity, and it's, and like I was saying throughout the reaction, it's so crazy to see Nabe and Chucky willing to bet the form and put it all on the line. And just remember a few episodes back, they wanted they were ready to quit, not even play basketball anymore. So to see them take part in this practice game and putting it all on the line, and well, it was like, well, if Sora can do it for thirty minutes, I can last. 14. Man, come on, man. That is epic. That is, that is, first of all, that's great writing. Just just a few episodes back, these were the same people that was really willing and ready to quit, but now they're willing to bet the farm and bet on Sora and just play. Come on, man. That's, that's epic. And then we have Kite just coming through at the end. I'm the top scorer of this team, so get your heads out of your asses because I'm the top scorer. I'm the top scorer, and it was freaking epic, and I loved it, man, because Kite came through yet again. Then we have Chiaki kind of breaking it down that the reason we're staying in zone D is because, you know, to cover our weaknesses as a whole, as a team. So, like, if something happens or someone gets away from someone on defense, the rest of the team can kind of make up and cover for our losses since, you know, we can't. We got some novices on our team, and they can't really handle a one-on-one. -on -one. And that was nice for them to touch on that fact and break it down so we could understand. Because, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because if they were to go to one-on-one, -on -one, Chucky, Nabe, and Yasuharu. And Yasuharu being the better of the three, but he still would kind of be left in the dust a little bit if they were going one-on-one, uh, -on -one, if he was to guard someone like Taro or these other guys that's been playing basketball pretty much their whole lives. So 
him them going one on one really wouldn't benefit the team. So them staying in zone D benefits the team and keeps everything at a nice even pace. And huge shout out to Sora for keeping it, uh, for keeping Taro shut down. Taro shut down for thirty minutes straight. That is skills, man. That is skills, and you can definitely tell that the endurance that he practiced over the summer camp actually paid off. Or the training camp, not summer camp, training camp, and it actually paid off, and they showed it and showcased it in this um, episode, and it was very, very nice. And we got some nice flashbacks with him and his mom, which is always a treat to see. And his mom breaking down some stuff in this episode really showcased how good she is as well. Um, yeah, but that's everything that happened in this episode. Like I said, it was just another. They really focused on the game, and then we also got uh, Toikawa and um, his senpai uh, practicing because now he's. Super intrigued about basketball again because of Taro and Sora playing each other in this practice game. So, yeah, it's getting good, man. It's getting really, really good, and I'm enjoying it, and I love this anime, man. This is your boy, Dick Incredible. Don't forget to smash that like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show I'm about to take down, you already know Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta